We begin with new developments in the kidnapping of a 13-year-old Missouri girl found safe in New Mexico. We've just gotten video of suspect Raymond Valia's first appearance in an Albuquerque courtroom. The 55-year-old waived extradition and will return to Missouri within the next seven days. Prosecutors have also released documents showing the relationship between Hannah Sue Kenish and Valia before the teen disappeared. KBC 9's Matt Evans reports from Henry County. The investigation into the disappearance of 13 year old Hannah Sue Kinnish continues in Henry County today. Right now, authorities trying to get Hannah Sue back home and bringing the suspect back to face charges. In the aftermath of uh, yesterday's investigation, certainly uh, with Hannah being safe now and, and a suspect in custody, uh, we'll be working on uh, extradition of the suspect back to the state of Missouri. You know, a lot of times these types of events uh, turn out uh, just quite the opposite of what they did for us yesterday. So, so to have that kind of an outcome and, and uh, a positive, uh, positive response was just huge for us as, as law enforcement officers. According to court documents, Kinnish had been posing as a 16-year-old girl named Sylvia in her online conversations with Raymond Valia. Valia's separated wife credited with telling police she believed he was involved in an online relationship with a teen and giving police a current address and phone number in New Mexico. A ping on that number is what led police to Valia and Kinnish on a rural stretch of interstate 30 miles east of Albuquerque. When the state troopers made the car stop and we had the initial information that she was in the vehicle, uh, I don't think you all were in the building. I'm surprised you couldn't hear us out in the parking lot hooping and hollering. Uh, uh, we were excited. The 55 year old Raymond Valia charged here in Henry County. Right now, New Mexico state authorities continuing their investigation to see if they need to charge him with additional state charges there. Also, we are still awaiting on any word of federal charges that could be coming in the coming days. In Clinton, Matt Evans, KBC 9 News.